First thing I want to do is take these factory fittings out and put them 6A in fittings in there. All right, let's go ahead and install that flex plate right quick. There we go. Four L eighty E custom cross member. Hey, why y'all here? If y'all liking this little four L eighty E swap turbo suburban build, go ahead and hit that sub button for me, y'all. Please and thank you. All right, y'all. So Circle D recommends an eighth inch pullback on this converter. What's up, y'all? Come take a ride with me. As we go run to my partner Chris's house, drop that 480 off of that bourbon bill. Like I said before, I ain't never built a automatic transmission before, and I ain't about to start today. So take a ride with me. Let's go run this transmission over there. Yes, indeed. Y'all, I had to change the starter on this truck again the damn the damn nose on the transmission where the gear rod it cracked and it wasn't letting the gear touch the uh flex plate that's that new chinese metal we got it might have been my fault because i also added a shim this time and the starter sounds so much nicer so we back running on leroy yeah i love this truck it's my favorite. Let's go run that tranny. Come and get a couple dollars right quick so I can give him so he can start ordering parts. He old school. He don't too much like them uh, cash apps and Venmo's and all this. So let me get a couple dollars. Let me come fix that trans. It look like it moved on me. Yeah, it moved. I had it. Bound up right here. That ain't going nowhere. All right, we in this neighborhood. I got lost for a second. I must have blinked and I missed this street. It's in his hands now, y'all. Take care of it. Gotta come to Harbor Freight right quick, y'all. That was a quick little run. Had to get me a, a replacement, little short piece of air hose for my air compressor. It, it popped the other day. Oh, well. Headed back to the house now. What up, y'all? Me and Ricky Bobby, we headed to go get that 4L ADE back from Chris so we can continue on this suburban build. Four weeks feels like four months when you're a YouTuber, I ain't gonna lie, because you're steady trying to look for things to make content about, you know? I got Cousins Turbo 350 and transfer case in the bed of the truck right now. I'm gonna drop that off to Chris. He may or may not have left a brand new rebuilt transmission and transfer keys outside in the weather for two months. So I'm gonna let him go back through that thing for him. And I think Kuzo wants me to slap that back in that square body for him. Oh, well, I'm gonna holler at y'all when I go pick that thing up. The green one tastes like Got my transmission back from Chris. He was busy yesterday, so I just snagged the transmission and rolled out. He said it was pretty much burned up. Clutches were burned up. Planetary was burned up because they had a tube in there that feeds the oil to all that, and it was crushed for some reason. 
it burnt this thing up. So he went with the HD2 shift kit. I can't, I'm not a transmission guy, but he did some good stuff to this thing. And we're gonna trust his work and we're gonna roll it. First thing I wanna do is take these factory fittings out and put them 6AN fittings in there. Got them out. Let's go ahead and swap the new ones in there. Just match them up right quick. Look good. I'm gonna put a little lube on that already. Tighten this one up. And you ain't gotta kill it because it got an o ring. This one here got a crush washer. I'm gonna go ahead and snug this one pretty good because it's got a crush washer. And I don't want it to leak. I also don't want to break that fit, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna stop it right there. All right, let's go ahead and install that flex plate right quick. This is a PRW SFI certified unit. Engine side, turn it around. Start your bolts. I put a little dab of red Loctite on it. Go ahead and torque them all to 35 first. All right, and then we're gonna finish it off at 75. Let's stick a screwdriver and hold it. All right, let's move on to the next step. Torque convertible bowl's got a dab of red Loctite. Torque the 75 foot pounds. All right, y'all, they got this thing really well packaged. I ain't gonna lie. Let's get this thing out of here and take a look. Ooh -wee. That's a pretty unit, y'all. Six bolt. <whistles> All right. We're gonna get it out. We're gonna put a, about a half a quarter of oil in it. Transmission fluid. And we're gonna slap on it. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and add a half a quarter Dextron and six to this bad boy. All right. Just so it don't start up dry, you know? Cause it takes a little while for a fresh transmission to get fluid circulating through everything. Especially with a new big cooler like I got. They go be nice, y'all. Huh? Also gonna take a little bit of that, that fluid and put it around here. To lubricate that lip seal. Feels like uh, Circle D put a little grease right there, so we should be good. All right, I'm about to try to put this converter in there.
I'm just looking at that lip seal, making sure it looks good. Trying to get three positive clicks. There we go. I think that's gonna be money, bro. It went one, two, three clicks. That last one was us getting into that pump. Take it back, y'all, off camera. I came right here, pushed it. I got one more click out of it. Now that thing is all the way in there. And I can tell I engaged the pump because it's a little bit harder to spin now. But yeah, yeah. She's all the way in. There's barely any gap between that lip seal and the uh, torque converter housing. I think we good. Slap this thing up there. Gotta level it out a little bit. Yeah. See if I can get a bolt in there. All right, y'all, I got it in. I got one bolt stabbed on this side, another bolt on the other side. Torque converter looks like it's nice fit. I gotta measure that gap. I'm gonna show y'all that after a while. They say you want about an eighth inch pullout on this converter. I'm gonna measure that gap. Come get all these bolts started. We're gonna go from there. All right, I'm gonna come install my 4L80E custom cross member. I forget who the dude was that made it. I found him on Facebook. I'm gonna have to look that up. These bolts go this way. And if you got, I don't know if y'all can see that. If you got a flex fuel sensor, it's got nuts after the fact. So you gotta put the, re the regular nuts on. It's got, this side got four nuts.
put this on now. See what I'm talking about? Now get your other two little nuts. Put them on there. I got solid engine mounts now, and I feel a gap between here. So I don't want to pull down on this transmission or put stress on the block or these mounts. So I'm gonna shim this before I tighten it. See what I'm saying? Hey, why y'all here? If y'all liking this little 4 l e swap Turbo Suburban build, go ahead and hit that sub button for me, y'all. Please and thank you. All right, y'all, I just went and make this quarter inch shim. Ain't she pretty? And I'm gonna slip it right here. Now I feel comfortable tightening that thing down. So Circle D recommends an eighth inch pullback on this converter. It's all the way in right now. And eighth inch meaning how far it is until it comes in contact with this flex plate. So I can already tell just by looking at it that my gap's too big. So I'm going to use this eighth inch drill bit. And they supply these different size washers. And I'm going to see which one fits the tightest. So when I pull or when I remove that eighth inch drill bit, that's going to be my pull out with that washer, right? So this washer right here is going to be perfect for me. Now I can go ahead and assemble it. Just working my way around, y'all. Nothing crazy. Getting all these bolts in. I'm going to shut y'all down. I'm going to uh, holler back at y'all when I'm torquing them things down. All right, now that they're all in, blue Loctite, and I got to torque them to 50 foot-pounds. I'm going to use my new... Precise built 3H drive torque wrench part number 2765. Holler the mud. Precise built. Alright, let's go ahead and torque these to 50. I'm gonna go ahead and keep knocking these out. I'm gonna holler at y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all. Well, that's gonna be it for the actual install of the transmission. This bracket, cross member, torque converter, flex plate. I still gotta order. The wiring harness adapter to plug this into that. I gotta figure out which one. I think that's gonna be the uh, speed sensor there. I'm not sure what this is, so I'm gonna have to do some more research on wiring. But in reference to installing it, all the bolts are tight. Torque converter install. We finished with this.
I got a measure up for a drive shaft. I want to get a drive shaft made with a 1350 yoke on this end. And I want to get a 1350 yoke put on this rear end with a bigger U-joint here. Because uh, whatever they got here is relatively small for the amount of power I want to put out of this thing. Such a heavy vehicle, right? This thing weighs 5,000 pounds, so I want them 1350 U-joints. Uh, but yeah, everything looks good, fit good. Besides, I had to make that little spacer, but oh well. Now, figure out this wiring, we're gonna go from there. But with all that said, now I could put that passenger, take it back. I could put that driver's side exhaust manifold and make my, my crossover to this turbo manifold. I could install my intercooler intake i could do a lot of stuff now that this bad boy is in there so bear with me y'all trying to get it done for y'all appreciate y'all watching and go ahead hit that sub hit that like because we build a terrible suburban y'all